I didn't originally start out to be a locksmith. I went to work for a locksmith as his business manager. And the first day, his, one of his employees on vacation, the other one called in sick, and he had jobs to do, so he showed me how to cut one key, and he left me by myself. Basically, our shop does all different types of locksmithing, residential, we do commercial, safes. My personal um, favorites are safe work. We sell safes. Uh, I have opened them. I'm a certified GSA uh, safe and vault inspector. I do work for the government, several police agencies. It started out because it's something you're not supposed to be able to get into. and. Since I've started, uh, there's probably hundreds and hundreds of safes that I've gotten into. Doing work for a lot of the police agencies, we've gone out and we found a lot of narcotics, several hundreds of, you know, some safes have a couple thousand dollars in them. Uh, we've also found up to, you know, half a million dollars in different safes. It's very, very interesting because you're, you're working under all these pressure deals, they're anxious to get into the safe to find out what's going on, so it's, uh, it's very trying. What's the funniest thing that you've ever found in, inside a safe? And One Saturday I was working in the store here and these people called and they had to get into the safe there. The gentleman's sister was, was on life support and they were getting ready to pull the plug on her and they found the safe in her house and check and see if there was a will or anything in it. So they brought in this small little fire safe uh, when we um, popped it open and expecting to find a will, we found um, several pornographic tapes and magazines and such and we all had a really good laugh and I think things happen for a reason and, and because it was almost a sad time, you know, when they're losing a loved one, that this added a little levity to the situation.